It's not just airlines that are feeling the strain from surging COVID cases. More essential workers calling out over the holiday as Omicron spreads. We're also seeing a striking increase in children being hospitalized with COVID. Concerning news for us parents. Trevor Alt is live at a testing center here in New York. Trevor, good morning. Good morning, Mary. Yeah, Omicron really just continues to gain steam here and infections are skyrocketing in much of the country, but we're still waiting to see and gauge the full impact on our hospitals. Here in New York, hospitalizations have remained relatively low, but in Louisiana, they have doubled in the past week and health experts say there does appear to be some reason to be concerned. This morning, the Omicron surge piling up new cases through the holidays, leading experts to warn that even if this variant proves to be more mild, its sheer transmissibility could seriously overload hospitals. Testing lines in cities from every region of the country stretching blocks as the virus spreads, caseloads soaring past the Delta peak, even as many Americans say they have to search relentlessly to even find a test, some showing up well before sunrise. CVS, Walgreens, all those were booked out. And honestly, this is a last resort. I will come here three o'clock if I really had to. In Florida, where they've broken their record high daily infection total on back to back days, this Orlando testing site reached capacity nine straight days heading into Christmas and Sunday crowds back out once again. We just got back from a plane and everybody was coughing. So we really want to see if we have have COVID or not. And in New York State, the health department has warned pediatric hospitalizations have increased fourfold, saying bluntly, the risks of COVID-19 for children are real. That is why, you know, it's so important for those that are eligible and around, especially our children under five who are yet to, to get the vaccine, to be vaccinated, to really cocoon them, protect them, especially as we're entering the surge. And Omicron is creating staffing shortages. 19% of New York City EMS workers called out on Christmas at several times more than usual. And professional sports leagues are having to adjust as well. The NHL has now postponed every game that was scheduled to be played tonight. And the NBA is now requiring every team to hold a booster shot event for their players. As 97% of NBA players are fully vaccinated, but a third of them have not yet received a booster. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.